want to be 60 and sexy. I don't know about too many other people. You feel me? So I'm working on that in the sense of performance for me. So I'm making performance work for me in the sense of keeping people refreshed. Remember, we talked about the whole concept of keeping things fresh. So people yeah. are looking at me and they're like, yo, this dude is getting, he's, 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 continu- he's consistently getting down. He's consistently changing himself or trying to, you know what I'm saying, elevate himself through these experiences. So what am I doing? Go back to the mind. Performance is about the mind, not the body. Actually about inclusivity. And it was also about allowing uh, fitness to be accessible. Um, and then also creating a space where, you know, all people can just come together and not worry about what size, shape, color, creed. I don't, none of that stuff matters at Rage and Release. And it, it shows in the diversity of our community. And one of the main reasons why that was a driving force is because growing up, I was one of those kids that I moved around a lot. Um, I never really had a community. I never really was involved in any community um, until I was, uh, until 9-11 happened. When 9-11 happened, I was 11 and I moved upstate, which is um, further outside of the city, what people call the suburbs. I moved to the suburbs with my aunt. And that was really impactful for me um, in the sense that I was a part of a community there. Um, that's where I excelled as a runner and also as a basketball player. And <clears throat> it gave me my overall sense of connecting to all people. Cannabis isn't the end all be all of the brand. It's just a part of the brand. And even if it can't yeah. be a part of the brand, there's ways for it to be a part of the brand. Like for instance, they may not fuck with CBD, but they probably fuck with CBG. There's all these different categories of cannabis to mess with that yeah. you know, we could we could introduce anything. And it doesn't have to be <laughs> psychoactive. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's the best part. Like we really are about the wellness aspect more than we are about the the getting high aspect. Um, my view on performance is that if you're doing the right things and you're consistent within those things and your rituals are on point, there's no reason why your performance should lack. And that's one thing I've been very fortunate for is the fact that you throw me in a fire, I'm I'm gonna fucking we're gonna burn and we're gonna and we're gonna do it good. You know what I'm saying? So. No matter what the situation is, if you're an athlete, you should be trained to go. And that's been the whole philosophy as well behind Rage Release. This is- For me personally, I think one of the biggest things is intention. Everybody needs to feel the intention of whatever you bring to the table. And it starts with the leaders of the brand. It starts with the people who are, in, are in, involved in creating the overall vision of the brand and you know, execution, everything goes that back back down to execution because your intention is in, involved in that execution. So whatever people are seeing is based off of you. 